shouldn't. Right now, the Sanibel Police Department is issuing new residential hurricane reentry passes for 2024. The passes are meant to allow residents and workers back on the island after a hurricane. After Ian, these reentry passes are a little bit more important than other years. Wink News reporter Asha Patel joins us live on the island now. Asha, how are these tags helping Sanibel Police? Well, they're helping Santa by Sanibel police by simply allowing them to take a quick look inside of your car and they'll be able to know if you can or cannot be on the island. So these reentry passes are meant to be hung in your car like how you would hang an air freshener. Safety is a big deal here on Sanibel Island and because of that, the city is encouraging you to apply for a reentry pass. Reentry passes are used um, after a storm hits and there's a state of emergency declared here on Sanibel. We have a uh, checkpoint that we put up uh, on the other side of the uh, toll booth and then that way only authorized people are allowed back on the island. After Hurricane Ian, Sanibel police tell me there were people and contractors on the island that weren't supposed to be. You know, there's down power lines, there's debris in the roadway and all that kind of stuff. So we don't want tourists uh, and we don't want folks that, who shouldn't be here. In order for you to get a reentry pass, you must apply. Residents and commercial both have different applications and tags. Green for residents and property owners, red for commercial businesses operating on Sanibel or Captiva. Quickly and easily identifying uh, what group of people have what pass. Police Chief William Dalton says so far 4,000 reentry passes have been given out, mostly for residents and about 200 for businesses. He added, even though we don't have a major storm on our radar, now is the time to get the pass, especially for contractors. F folks cannot get the pass. You know, if they're not a state licensed contractor and they're just coming, you know, trying to look to drum up some business, if they haven't received a pass before the storm hits, we don't issue it to them afterwards. As of right now, anybody can come and go off of Sanibel Island, but like the police chief says, he emphasized to me that he really wants people to get those permits and you can pick them up anytime from 8 in the morning to 4 p.m. here at the Sanibel Police Department. I'm reporting live on Sanibel. Ash Patel, Wink News. Hi, Asha, thanks. Well, neighbors